popping, but never popping off. Now she bad and boozy to top it off. So whoever tripping, they can knock it off. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be doing the Zuri Sis Diva Wig Riri and Tie Dye Parade. I do want to go ahead and thank Ebony Line for sending me this wig to review for you guys. This is what she looks like straight out of the box. Um, she has these colors on the side, pretty much each color in the rainbow, including orange, which I'll show you right here. Um, and then she has this rubber band style on the top. And she also comes with um, pre-cut and curled baby hairs, two combs on each temple, one comb in the back, as well as an adjustable elastic band. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on um, and brush it out and just kind of adjust it so that it's placed correctly on my head. And then really quick, I just wanted to show you guys where the wig comes down on me. I'm 5'6 for reference. So I took the wig off to add some powder to the lace just to make it match my skin a little bit better because the lace was too light for me by itself. Um, and then I also wanted to give you like a bit of a close up of the baby hairs and how they look. Um, it's not too many. So unless you take out the rubber bands, you won't really be able to add any baby hairs if you like yours a little thicker. Then I'm going to cut the lace off off my head. It's easier for me to cut it this way than it is when I have the wig on. So I'm just going to use my scissors and just move the baby hairs out of the way and cut along the hairline in jagged motions. Now I'm going to put the wig back on and begin installing it. So even after um, using the powder, the lace is still a little bit too light for me. However, once I start to melt the wig into my skin, you won't really be able to tell um, that powder did help enough. I just wanted to show you guys like how light it was. And I still, this is after I've added powder and it's still like too light for me. So I'm gonna brush the wig out. Um, I'm gonna pull out some hair on both sides of the wig where the sideburns would be. Um, when I did this, I did notice that the wig was too short for me. It wasn't a full um, 13 inches from ear to ear, so I had about half an inch on either side of the wig. Um, it just didn't fit my head, but I'm going to make it work. So I'm going to start off by using my Ebon adhesive spray and spray that in between the baby hairs and where the rubber band style starts. And I'm just going to blow dry that and try to like press it down with my comb. And I'll just keep melting it in and blow drying it until it's completely dry before I start on my baby hairs. Then I'm gonna cut the sideburn so that I can begin souping my baby hairs. And I'm gonna use the Wetline Extreme Gel to do my baby hairs. And I'm not gonna include like the whole process of me doing them cause I've shown that in other videos. Once I finish with my baby hairs, I like to put my elastic band on and let that kind of sit for about five minutes. And I wanted to show you guys the back and what the curls are looking like before I take my elastic band off. So I also wanted to point out that the curls on this wig are all curled in the same direction. So on the left side of my face, they're curled outward, but on the right side of my face, the curls are curled inward. So I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. And then this is how it looked after I finished installing it. So a few days later, uh, I came back to straighten the wig. Because this is like a 13 by six, I wanted to show you guys how versatile it can be so and how well it takes heat. So I went ahead and straightened the wig. Um, so you'll see me do that here.
so this is what the wig looks like it's straightened um i really love how much bolder the color looks when it's straight and if you just wanted something different or to switch it up you can leave the rubber bands in and just straighten the rest of the hair um however like i said i wanted to show you guys how versatile it is so i went ahead and cut the rubber bands out using these small scissors regular scissors wouldn't work they were too thick um so now that i have all this parting space i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten the top half of the wig and i'll show you guys how i get it flat without using a hot comb So this is the third and final look on this wig, just a simple middle part. The colors um, aren't as visible now. There's still some like peeking through in the back, uh, but I went off camera and did my makeup and just straightened my hair a little bit more. And this is the end of the video. For me personally, I really did like this wig. I like how versatile it is because like I said, you can buy it and you can do so many different styles with it since it is still like a 13 by six. If it fits your head, it just didn't fit mine. Um, I did experience some tangling with this wig, so I definitely would keep a brush on me at all times. Um, it was a little bit more manageable once I straightened it, but I do want you guys to be aware of that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Ebony Line, for sending me this unit, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.